What's up, everybody? It's, uh, it's time for round two of our Barnes & Noble Criterion haul. We're at a different one this time, so we're gonna see if we can get some new pickups. And um, we came here specifically because Perry wanted Antichrist, so hopefully we can find it for him. You wanna look, Perry? I think Antichrist will be over here somewhere. Hopefully they have it. I'm gonna look for my own over here. All right. Oh, look what I already found. <laughs> Oh, that's a really good the 400 one. 400 Blows, which if anyone follows this channel, Carlos just did a review for this, and Thank I you. recommended it. Yep, that was his patron request. His blood's simple. Everybody could tell me that this was great, so I might check this out. It's a Joel, Joel, and, Joel and Ethan Cohen film. Um, it's one of his lesser known ones, but I hear it's really underrated. So I'm going to hold on to this. I might grab this. I didn't get this last time because Carlos got it, but I'm uh, definitely taking this. Yeah, no. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Um, I wanted to get one specifically because Eric really wanted me to get but I'm not going to say it just yet because I want to surprise him, but let me see if I can find it. Oh. Eric, look what I got. <laughs> uh, John Dealman. I have not seen this film, but he absolutely loves this film to death. And I told him if I found it, covered. I would get it. Uh, apparently it's a three hour French film, I believe. Uh, Perry has seen it and he also says he loves it. Go um, with the French. So, <laughs> I don't know much about it, but he really loves this film. And I told him that if I could find it, I would buy it and also review it. So be on the lookout for a review for this film eventually. So this one's a must have, I'm getting this for sure. This one, not so sure yet. What's up going to you, Perry? Have you, have you found Antichrist? Uh, no, not yet. Man. Maybe oh, no. it's buried behind one of these deep. Maybe, uh, yeah. Because that, that happens sometimes. Look what I did find, though. Terrence Malick's Badlands. That's an interesting cover. Oh, oh it's DVD Criterion, though. It's not Blu-ray. It's too bad. I, make, I might get blue as the warmest color this time. I didn't get it last <laughs> time. Yeah, it might be buried somewhere. Oh, yes, I found it. It's oh, one of my it? favorites. <laughs> I'm definitely getting this. By the way, I rewatched this film, this run right here. Um, I have already wrote out a a scene analysis on it. Lengthy. <laughs> I, I wrote out a, a, a scene analysis for it. It's going to be out hopefully by the end of this week, if not next week, but I'm really excited for it. At this point, I do think that film's a masterpiece. Antichrist. Always thought it was, yes. Uh, she always thought I get it was. points first. <laughs> I was kind of late to the game. This one here, uh, holding the camera, obviously really, really loved it more than I did. But now I think it's amazing. Got so, something, Perry? Someone was recommending to, this to me in my la our last uh, criteria. All that jazz. So I'm going to put this on a maybe. Uh, I might get this. I don't want to say definitely. Though. Yeah. Is there, is there another copy of that? Is it the only one? Um, nope. Oh, that's DVD, isn't it? Oh, that's DVD. They have All About Eve, but this is DVD, so I'm not going to get that. All right. Um, oh, someone was telling me about Bicycle Thieves. That's a great time. film. You've seen it? I've seen it in film, one film class before. Oh, wow. I think before, I, I I didn't think I did, but then thinking back on it, I, I, I have seen it. It's just been a long time. Um, I'm going to look for... Here's five easy pieces. Oh, nice. Is that Blu-ray or DVD? This is Blu-ray. Oh, yep. I might get this. This is a cool cover for Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh, they have that? Yeah. Oh, man. I own this already, though. Oh, I don't own it. I'm, I'm really? I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it begins. <laughs> oh, and it begins. I'm going to schleb all these around. <laughs> Oh, you know what I did want to get? Um, it's another Christian Munja film called Graduation. Oh, speaking of which, should I get this? You got this last time. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. Oh, you haven't watched it? No. I've been too busy trying to watch Patriot shit. Maybe Pile, then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they have Breakfast Club on Blu-ray Criterion. I might get this. <laughs> That's what I haven't seen. You know what I might get? Oh, my God. What? They have Breaking the Waves. <laughs> I'm definitely getting those. 
That's like my least favorite. Is that the one where the ending? I still think it's great. It it is a great movie. I just, I just, FYI, I hate the ending of that movie. I, I very much did not. I hate the ending to to breaking the waves, but it's still a great movie. I think it's just the the, the, movie. It kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It was very nuanced. Everything was here and there, and then the ending kind of just stapled in. Yeah. Kind of what the director it, wanted, it made it, and it made I just am not ambiguous, a fan. And I, I didn't like the fact that it didn't make it ambiguous. It made it to where it was like, oh, this is what's happening, yep. and that's why I didn't like it. For anybody that doesn't know this, um, the reason why I'm freaking out over Andy Christ and Breaking the Waves is Lars von Trier is my favorite director of all time. For anyone that didn't know that, now you know. <laughs> I would say he's in my top five for sure. Um, Kronos, this is a Guillermo oh, del Toro <laughs> film. <laughs> Um, I bought The Devil's Backbone last time. This is one that I haven't seen from him yet either, so I'll, I'll put that in a maybe pile. Eraserhead. This is a DVD. Damn. Did you pick up Blood Temple? I did. I'm, I'm going to might put that in the maybe pile. Okay. Um, I'm really sorry to make you record, too. I know it's not the funnest. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I, I'm trying not to get oh, my fingers get the in. <laughs> I, I like The Brood, I but I, liked it I wouldn't say it's, it. after seeing so much Cronenberg, I wouldn't say that it's like one of his best, but it's a solid movie. Oh, okay. I'll put it in the maybe pile. Hey, is this a film called Carlos? <laughs> oh my god. Is that God. me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a lot like you. <laughs> Have you seen Solaris yet? Yes. It's all in theaters, dude. Yeah. No. The Criterion. Oh, yes. no. I know we completely saw completely different. Paris. I was there. <laughs> They're completely different. Apparently. Oh, very. <laughs> oh, I Daniel Blake. Yeah, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I did not watch this the last time we recorded our uh, Criterion haul, but I ha- did see this just a few days ago. I love this film. I gotta get it. Oh, wait, I, I was going to say, I'm going to get this, I think. Didn't you want to get Blue Velvet? Yes, you got Blue Velvet over yeah, there? there you go. Oh, my God, I'm getting this. Okay. Yeah. This is a, uh, Blue Velvet is a film that I watched forever ago. I really wasn't huge on it. Me neither. <laughs> but it's been a long time, so I'm going to give it a fair rewatch to see how I feel about it. Um, I think I'm going to get this. The, Dar- the Darjeeling Limited is not only a Wes Anderson film that I don't own, but I haven't seen. So... I'm going to buy it, give it a shot. I only hear great things about it, so... Dude, it's, it's gonna, really freaking good. You I like think it? you'll like it a lot. Okay. So, oh, it's got Adrian Brody in it. Yeah, Adrian yeah. Brody, Owen Wilson, and, um... Uh, what's his a name? Jason of... Schwartzman. They, oh. They're brothers. They play brothers in the film. Oh, okay. I remember seeing it on the poster when we were at the theater. A lot excited. I keep on hearing about Carnival of Souls. Yeah, me too. I don't I keep know. keep hearing a lot I about it. I'll put it... I'll put it in the maybe final. Persona. Infinite... Check this out, Perry. Oh, Persona? Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it, but it looks really good. It's, a, it's, it. it's an Ingmar Bergman film, but um, somebody in the Discord chat, I think it was Chris Chris Galton, Chris Gatan in the Discord chat, mm-hmm. he said that if I'm going to watch an Ingmar Bergman film, it shouldn't be this one first, but this is the one that I want to watch first, <laughs> so Dude. I don't know. What? How did I not see this? Code Unknown, Mikhail Hanukkah. It's been oh. staring me right in the face this entire time. A film called Code Unknown by Mikhail Hanukkah or Michael Haneke. Um, I haven't seen it. That was one of the few Michael Haneke films I haven't seen. So, But I'll put this in the maybe pile. I know he said that he I should watch another one first, but this is one that interests me the most. So I don't know. We'll see. It does have an interesting cover. Okay, I gotta give this to Perry. I know he's gonna freak out when I give this to him. So let's let's go surprise him real quick. <laughs> hey Perry. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like in my big top four as far as criterions I wanna own currently. This is one of my favorite films of all time. That was I Adam Sandler for a second. What's that? I thought that was Adam Sandler. It is Adam Sandler. Oh. It is Adam Sandler. Yeah, but it's oh. Love. Oh. You saw it once. I wasn't huge on it, but I think it's a good movie. Is it the one with the cabinet? No, it's not that one. Yeah, the one with the, the piano oh. cabinet Oh, thing. the pudding yeah. cups? Yeah, Wait. the pudding. Yeah, the oh, pudding cups. Oh, that was an interesting yeah. kind of The air thing. miles, yeah. Yeah. I did, I did like that it's one. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's a good movie, yeah. Oh. It's an like, interesting um, uh, approach to Adam Sandler, too. I just have never seen him in 
something kind of like you know i just think i keep comparing that one to like other paul thomas anderson films like mm. there will be blood and boogie nights and ah uh, yeah then it's kind of a little it makes it you know if i'm comparing it to that i just don't think it's, it's like amazing fault for making such exquisite different masterpieces <laughs> Yeah, put that. Yeah, put that in the maybe pile, that dude. Sounds interesting too. Wild strawberry. Another Bergman film. That's, that's. I think that was one of them that he told me that he wanted me to start with. So maybe I'll get that one. Here's Roma. This is a fantastic oh, yes, film. Um, don't know. I'll put it in the maybe pile. But it's just really good. I don't know if I'll watch it like again anytime soon. But it's just good to have because it's it's worthy of of, <laughs> of collecting. Ah, uh, humans and owning things. <laughs> just just got to do it. Oh, I'm going to show this to Perry. He might want this. So I watched this last night and I'm going to do, I'm going to do a video on it because it won, it won the patron poll. So I'm going to come out with that. But, um, I got to say, spoiler alert, I'm not huge on it, but I don't think it's bad either. But I know that Perry really, really likes this. So I'm going to go <laughs> give this to him. Dude, do not tell me you're bringing me Repo Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I love this film. When I was 16, I saw this film and it shaped, shaped the way I saw film forever. I love this film. One of the best satires I have ever seen. I know Carlos is not huge on it, but I love it. Yeah, she didn't like it at all. Uh, I'm quite quiet. <laughs> She's quiet over here. It was, it was okay. Not Dude, why is this on Criterion? This is like a 6 out of 10 at best. <laughs> Election? Election? It's fine. It's nothing special. Well, that's the way I feel about Repo Man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. Oh. I enjoyed it. No. I know. I'm just kidding, man. Oh, snacky for that. Y'all are adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna put Easy Rider in the maybe pile. Okay. This is a this right here has a pretty cover. This is it. Oh, Lady Snowblood. Yeah. What is it? Some something I don't this know. This is old. I, uh, I think this pretty. is the old movie. Um. I just thought it was very. Alluring. God yeah, these are older fingers. movies, but um, it's a, this is a DVD. It's a DVD. But I, I have thought pretty. about getting this film. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks, it's like something yeah. you would draw. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I could. <laughs> That's similar. Um, so I found this. Taron Malick's The New World. Um, that's, I did want to watch it. Did we watch I it? Seen it? I wanted to watch this for a while, and I never got to see it. The only Terrence Malick film that I have seen is *A Tree of Life*, and I think that film's a masterpiece. Oh man, that is. I would agree fully. So I'll put this in the maybe pile. Um, you've heard of *The New World*, right, Perry? Yeah, I've been meaning to see it for so long, but I haven't got around to it. The cover's nice too. Look at oh, that. I got you something. What is this? Graduation. <gasps> munja, okay. munja, munja. Oh, it's DVD though, dude. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. I'm sorry, I got your hopes up. It's a. There's Rushmore. I don't own this either, but I have seen it. It's good. It's a good. It's a good Wes Anderson film. So um, cute. His films are so very. We we seen this one together too. Designed. I know. Here's a <laughs> little cute little animated covers. With, with very honest and deep yeah. uh, writing. Oh yeah. Pants Labyrinth here again. I noticed. Oh, this is the DVD. Yeah, I can't get that. Can't have any of that. Why do they even sell DVD anymore? Just kidding. Uh, just such disgusting things. <laughs> um, Seven Samurai. This is a great film. I just don't know though. I'll, I'll keep it in here, but I just don't know. I thought that was Chloe Grace Moretz for a second. <laughs> I can see that. Which I believe this young lady looks a little bit more exquisite. That's a film by Roman Polanski, too. Right, the, just the a little bit more. Having Which much more of it? an interesting face. Oh, I never heard of that. Neither. What is it called? Tess? Tess. Yeah, it would be called the thin blue line, but not the thin red line. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that, maybe. Where's the thin red line at? <laughs> is that one, the one you're looking for? Yeah. Interesting. On the wages of fear, that's a good one. That was a good one. It's very uh, mature and huh. uh, anxiety inducing. Oh, look at this pair. Oh, wow. Yeah, I own, it's not Criterion, but it's a nice Blu ray. It's in there. <laughs> I own this already, though. Yeah. 
think it's a DVD though. I did well with that one. I did well. She did do well with that. She bought that for me for my birthday, and it was. I was so happy. Set. Oh, I already own this. You can mata bien. This is a fantastic film. Oh yeah. Did you want to own that, Perry? Oh yeah. Is okay. that Blu-ray? Yeah. That's yeah. It. I'll take it. Yeah. It should be. Y tu mamá también. Yee. Yeah. This is like yo yo. Yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> the film that uh, Sydney desperately wants me to watch. Holy cow. It's stacked, Perry. Oh, it's getting huge again. Oh my god. It is. It's quite huge. Studio Ghibli movies. Yep. I wouldn't mind owning ones I haven't seen like this. Nausicaa. I have watched that, I believe, once or twice when Castle I was a young girl. I haven't seen these. This is a DVD, though. This is that cool. one is visually uh, stunning, but I'm not sure in story-wise it um, holds up to his other films. That's what I hear a lot. Yeah. But these aren't half off or anything, so I have to pay $34 yeah. to get this. So. <laughs> They're regular animation for us. that. might take this this time. Last time I didn't get it. What is that? Midnight Cowboy. Oh, Midnight Cowboy. Okay. I haven't seen that one. Um, I'm kind of upset I haven't found the thin, the thin red line. Oh, Perry. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> is that Siddler's? Yep. I like that one a lot, actually. I like that better than Stalker, but... Ouch. That's like blasphemy to say. I, I yeah, for that's a sure. Hot take. <laughs> that is definitely a hot take. Hot take baby cakes. It's a normal take for me. I, don't know. <laughs> I didn't really. I don't know. Dude, someone actually put a Blu ray in the Criterion section. That's blasphemy. Why would you is, ever? Is a Criterion not a Blu ray? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. No, no, man. You? Mm hmm. This is the Koyana Scotsy trilogy. Um, it's 80 bucks, I have to pay 40 bucks just to get the Koyana Scotsy, so I think I'm gonna do that. It's really yeah. cool though, Koyana Scotsy is a great film, I have a review of it. It is. Getting heavy, Perry? Uh, yeah, and I still gotta shuffle through that other yeah. side. <laughs> There's a bench here, a bench. right Where? here. Oh, here you go, yeah, put it down here. Right, I don't know if you can pull it out, can you? Oh, yes, you, you can. You put it down here. Yep. You might want to help him. <laughs> oh. There we go. I'll leave mine here too. Yeah, it's quite fine. It's a cool cover, right? It is. What's it called? I think it's Kuroneku. Kuroneko. That's what it looks like. Interesting. Yeah, it looks good. That's amazing. It's scary. Titanic. <laughs> That's interesting. Police uh, story and police story too. They should have more Jackie Chan films on Criterion. The only Kubrick movie I didn't couldn't get last time. La Virate is one that I saw too for a film class. It was not bad. I enjoyed it. This is the one I think um, about the woman who was accused of murder. Ah, uh, yes. She's a... Uh, yeah, that's... I don't want to say too much about it, but it was good. Oh, Lady of Snowblood. This is on Blu-ray, actually. Oh. That, that was a huge inspiration on Kill Bill, actually. Really? It looks um, like it. That was 40 original. bucks, 20 bucks. I still know because I haven't seen it. Would y'all like me to hold these up? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, no. We're still deciding. We'll okay. probably put a lot of these back. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. That's very nice I just you, saw it and I was like, he's got his arms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they will be walking out with a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, why not stop up during Yes. You know? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We drove you. like almost an hour to be here. So. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Okay. And one is in the other one too, so. <laughs> you had a whole little collection last this one. Coxon. I might actually get this. Uh, this just looks really cool. This is an old movie. This is 1922. This was made. And it's like a, I think it's a Norwegian, a Norwegian horror like movie about like i think it's like a folk witchcraft kind of film it sounds so interesting it does to me sound very interesting. maybe it could it's something that i would want to watch i don't know if it's norwegian or not though don't, don't quote me on that but i definitely know it's foreign <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of hate yeah you, <laughs> well, you can put it I'm, on I'm your putting this in the pile yeah um i'll put lady snowblood back yeah hold on to the time. stanley kubrick film
Moonrise Kingdom. I hate not. I hate that I already own like most Wes Anderson films. Wait, where do you see Moonrise Kingdom now? Oh, Is right it here. Blu-ray DVD. It's a Blu-ray, dude. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah. This is my favorite Wes Anderson film, by the way. Oh, oh really? Yeah. It is a great Wes Anderson film. Well, mine's film. is, uh... Where was it? We saw it. Yeah, I know. I already zoomed in. You guys kind of buried it. Oh, here it is. Oh. <laughs> That's oh, mine. Dude, I have to take this. Rosemary's Baby. Baby, yeah. Oh. I, I know you love that movie. Nah, crazy fan of it. I know. I'm not huge on it either. Everybody's going to be like, oh. I mean, look, A Man Escaped is a pretty good film, too. Um... Nice, nice French film. I like that one. Remember this one, right? Yes, it where it ends. Oh, I don't want to spoil, spoil the ending, but I probably have been doing that. It is a good one, though. Maybe I'll hold on to this one. Why not? Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. But at meantime, it's apparently. I know you're gonna pull that one out. This is what um, inspired the uh, Safi brothers to make. I don't know if they get inspired to make Good Time, but it's just funny that they said they love this film and they made a movie called Good Time. But interesting. Um. Meantime, good time. Meantime, good time. This, the killing, Stanley Kubrick film. For now, I'll put this in the for sure. Huxon, for sure. Darjeeling Limited. Oh, God, I'm getting rocked with so much, for sure. <laughs> it's okay. David Lynch, for yeah, sure. John Dealman, for sure. Blood Simple, I don't know. Kronos, I don't know. Persona, I don't know. Roma, probably not. Yeah. The New World. I feel like you should replace that one with um, uh, this one. I know people are gonna hate me. But <laughs> I, I, uh, I've been wanting to rewatch this though. I know. Uh, but I don't maybe know. You I can don't know if I can it in regular style. <laughs> it's like, oh lord. <laughs> or not. Or not. Or not. I get it. I get it. But what if I buy the new world and it's not really that great? Yeah, that. Uh, I wouldn't be good with it. <laughs> I look like the jug then. Let's see something. there's another one I'd put back that's not blue velvet. Okay. Look at that guys. Holding on to y'all blue velvet. Just know that. <laughs> I don't know because I want this one for sure. And I want the Stanley Kubrick film. And I want the Wes Anderson film. Damn. Maybe I can just get six. Last time I got six. Maybe yeah. I just get all six. Let's see. You can. One, two, three, four, five, what six. What I work for. <laughs> You're my sugar mama. <laughs> Be my picks. The New World. Blue Velvet. Yeah. <laughs> she really don't like Blue Velvet. I mean, I just, it just didn't, I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> That's all. John Dealman. I know Eric to be really happy about that. Oh, we miss you, Eric. Oh, yeah, definitely miss him here. Darjeeling Limited, Wes Anderson film. I haven't seen it or own it. Haksan, or however you pronounce it. 1922 old horror film, foreign horror film that I really want to check out. And Stanley Kubrick's The Killing. That's my haul for right now. I love Stanley Kubrick. So, I think Perry has a stack behind you. Oh, I have more <laughs> films than I did last time. Oh no, oh, I can tell. 25 films. You guys are going to have to put every last one of them back correctly. I will. I'll help him without with that. Okay. I feel so bad. Let's go to your 10. You think I should do 20? Yeah. I, I almost have 40. I pretty much have 40 films here. Oh, damn. Oh. I love this film. I saw it in theaters, but I'm putting it back. I've never seen Shame. This was a maybe, so I'll put it back. Ingmar Bergman. What? It's, a, it's an Ingmar Bergman film. Sex Lies and Videotape. This has been on my launch list for so long, but I haven't seen it. I'm going to put it back. Shallow Grave, Danny Boyle. Haven't seen it. It was a maybe. Got to put it back. Rushmore. Have you seen that? I have. I love this film. Yeah. Let, let me... I might come Put it on a maybe pile. Yeah. Rosemary. You baby. have to get that. I have to get that. Rumblefish. I didn't get this last time. I'll come back to it. Moonrise Kingdom, I'll come back to it. Same with Night of the Hunter. Definitely getting Solaris. Tarkovsky. Tarkovsky. Code Unknown, Mikkel Hanukkah. Of course I have to get it. <laughs> Carnival of Souls, have not seen it. I'll put it back. 
Midnight Cowboy. I've seen this movie way too many times. I would love to own it on Criterion, but I'll put it back. If I've only seen it once, I really enjoyed it, but I'm going to put it back. Malcolm McDowell. Me too, no Mama. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, where are my definites? Let's, let's, let's get I my didn't know either. Out. I was yeah. quite confused. This is 97. It's Mikhail Hanukkah, but it's the 97 version. I'll put it back. Grand Budapest. I already own it on Blu-ray. I'll put it back. Graduate I already on Blu-ray. I'll put it back. Harold and Maude. I'll put maybe. it in the maybe pile. Easy Rider. I'll put it back. Repo Man, I'm taking this. I have to take this. <laughs> it is a cool cover, though. I'll give you that. We're talking about this today, so. Yeah. Wild strawberries, put it in the main pot. Punch shirt glove. You have I mean, to get come that. Come on, yeah. I have to get it. <laughs> I Daniel Blake, maybe. The Brood, I'll put, put it, it back. Put it back, yeah. Blood Simple, I have not seen it yet. I'll put it back. Von Trier is breaking the waves. I have to get it. I have to get it. It's Von Trier. <laughs> is it? Didn't Eric love that one very Eric much? Eric loves that one too, I yeah. I love it, yeah. Oh. Breakfast Club, I love this film. I've seen it so many times, but I'll put it back. I haven't seen Beyond the Hills. I love Munja, 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 but <laughs> I'll, I'll put it back. Five Easy Pieces, maybe. All That Jazz, maybe. Antichrist, I'm you obviously have to get that. I, we have that one. <laughs> 400 blows, I obviously have to get it. Oh, it is good. Four months, three weeks, two days. <laughs> Blue is the <laughs> warmest color and fantastic. Sorry, they're not making the trumpet. Your yeah. sister Sorry. somewhere likes saliva spit. Okay, so how many you got? Like seven? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, yeah, nine. Well, if you do the math on that, make sure that you're willing to spend that much money. Yeah. Well, you can compare it to yours. I got six. And that would probably Mine's be around... Mine's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Mine's going to be around 125, 130 bucks. 20. Probably 130 because the New World is $10 more than a normal Criterion. Because yeah, so this is like dollars go that one, huh? Yeah. So I've decided I'm taking I, Daniel Blake. Four months, three weeks, two days. The 400 blowjobs. I mean, the 400 blows. <laughs> Antichrist, Favorite. obviously. Yay. Masterpiece. Breaking the waves. There goes Eric. <laughs> Punch Trunk Love. Repo Man. Code Unknown. And Solaris. Solaris yeah. This is our haul. Um, I'm glad Perry took it a little bit easier this time around. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No, I don't. No, no, no. no. no, 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 no. <laughs> sorry. Um, this is our pickup for this time around. Um, pretty happy with what I got. I'm a little upset that I couldn't find the thin red line, but hopefully next time I'll be able to get it. And um, yeah, anything you want to say? Mm -hmm. I think you uh, said everything. Uh, okay. I'm I would love to take this entire haul, <laughs> but it's just, it's just too much. I'm just really happy that we were able to find Antichrist for you. That's yes. what I'm gonna Yeah, that's, that's a fun We find. found Antichrist, Punch Shrunk Love, and the 400 Blows. Those were three of my big ones. And Solaris, which was another one of my big ones. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with our haul. Well, that's it, guys. Um, hope you really enjoyed this video and this really long use of this video of us <laughs> vlogging. <laughs> Um, if you really enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it amongst your other Keto Lord friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more content. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So I got a quick update because me and Perry saw a few on the way out that we just had to get. To so to I got... Oh, yeah, get ready. <laughs> so we got... Uh, oh, I got Don't Look Now. I absolutely love this film. Also have a video on it. If you want to check it out, please check it out. Um, and then Perry back there... I put back I, Daniel Blake, and I got Brazil. A Brazil is one of the best films ever made in my yes, opinion. Yes, this is the greatest satire of all time, and Terry Gilliam's best work by far. I agree. By the way, I had to put back uh, Blue Velvet to get this, so... Sorry, David Lynch, once again, you are outgunned and outmanned.